What's up my lady loves and welcome back to Pokemon Gold version. In the last episode we defeated the third Elite Four member Bruno and now in this episode we are going to be taking on the fourth Elite Four member Karen, the dark type user. So let's go ahead and talk to her. I'm Karen of the Elite Four. You are Tommy. How amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. I find their wild tough image to be so appealing and they're bananas to eat their own kidnapped Okay, let's go. I don't know what she just said because I completely uh, misread what she said and pressed A. But yeah, like I said, this is the uh, Dark Type Elite Four member Karen. She's actually the first Dark Type user of of anything because Dark Type Pokemon were new to second generation. So yeah. All right, she's gonna lead off with an Umbreon, and this thing's pretty bulky. So I went ahead and lit off with uh, with Crocker here because he has an advantage with his fighting type stuff, but we're just gonna go for a vital throw, and hopefully this should be, uh, it should do a good amount of damage. I don't think it'll kill it, but it will do enough to, uh, hurt it pretty badly, so there we go. Good damage. That's actually really good damage. Uh, one more vital throw should be able to take this guy out. Hopefully we don't get confused hexed, though. Uh, she seems to be pretty annoying with her confusion and her flinchiness, but here we go. Come on, Crocker, you got this, man. Don't be confused. All you have to do is punch her in the face. No? Okay. Alright, that's fine. Punch her in the mouth, though, one of these days, please. That'd be great. Faint attack. I believe that can make you flinch. I don't know if it can in this game. I don't even know if flinching ex exists in this game. But, uh, there we go. We're not confused anymore. And vital throw. That should be enough to take out this Umbreon. There you go. Good game. And I apologize if I sound, sound a little weird. Uh, I'm kind of getting sick. I don't know what's happening. The weather is changing and my allergies are going crazy and my head is, like, is pounding. All the time, but alright, her next Pokemon is going to be Vile Plume. I guess we're going to go in with um, with Azar here and go for some Fire Punches because that seems to be the best bet. This Vile Plume doesn't seem like too much of a prob. Look at its eyes. It's so cute. Little Vile Plume. It's just like, <laughs> I'm so happy, but I'm so emo. Yeah, you are. Alright, here we go. Let's go for that Fire Punch. Hopefully this does enough to kill it. If it doesn't, that's still alright because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be able to do anything to us really. So there we go. Ah, uh, did an okay amount of damage, and we got a burn. I don't think that was really necessary. Please miss. No. Okay. Stun Spore is going to be really annoying. So now, my speed is cut in half, and now I also have a chance to miss certain moves, which sucks. And hopefully Moonlight doesn't heal her up, and hopefully I don't get paralyzed hacked. So much crap going on right now. Let's see. Please. Please let me. Please let me use it. Okay, sweet. We freaking did it. We did it. All right, there we go. And this should be enough to take out Vile Plume. So there we go. Get out, get out of my face, Vile Plume. You suck. You suck, carrots. You're done. And we get a level up from that. So we're at level 42. That's nice. That's nice, everybody. And the club getting tips. All right, her next Pokemon is going to be Gengar. You know what? Let's just go out with our Gengar because our Gengar is better. I don't care if there's a level difference. Melvin's got this. Melvin, I trust you and I believe in you. And if you fail me, I'm going to feed you to... Um, to a shark, even though you're a ghost, and I mean technically you can't really be touched. Just shut up. You're gonna die somehow if you if you fail me. So there we go. Shadow Ball. That did so much freaking damage. Okay, she killed herself. That's even better. Okay, well that's a free kill. Good game, Gengar, and we got some nice EXP from that. Yeah. What up? She only has two Pokemon left. Uh, Murko. Hmm. Uh, who should we go out with? Let's go out with Cherokee because we have Ice Punch on this person. So hopefully... Not Cherokee. Crap. I didn't mean Cherokee. No. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. Cherokee, you're going to have to die. I'm going to have to sacrifice you. Uh, well, let's just go for a Future Sight then. I meant to go for uh, Polychode and go for an Ice Punch. But whatever. Accidents happen. It was a misclick. And I really don't feel like switching because the extra damage that she's going to do to... Uh, my Pokemon is going to actually affect me, but here we go. Let's go for a fly and at least get a little bit of damage on this Murkrow before we have to switch into our other Pokemon. So here we go. Hopefully fly does at least close to half. That would be great. Okay, fly did huge amount of damage. Holy crap. That was great, Cherokee. Good job. You lived and you died for a good cause. You did well. You did well, my Native American friend. All right, well, now let's switch into... Uh, Polychode like I originally wanted to and go for that Ice Punch. Now it should be more than enough to kill this guy, so... Oh, and the Future Sight. Hopefully that does enough to kill him. Come on. Come on. Nope, not quite. And now you're probably gonna heal. That sucks. Alright, well here we go. Let's go for the Ice Punch. Nope, Faint Attack. Okay. I assumed she was gonna heal, but I guess not. I don't know why not, but here we go. Ice Punch. Whoop. Good game, Murkrow. Get out of my face. You suck. Fall through that floor, GG. Hater, you are finished. All right, now her last Pokemon is going to be Houndoom. This is her strongest Pokemon on her team, but honestly, I'm not really worried about it. We have two Pokemon to take this guy down, even though, look at Houndoom. It's so freaking awesome. 
Oh, I forgot about how beautiful that is. You know what? A, a fun little fact is I've never actually used a Hound Doom on my team. I planned on it, but I just never did, and I don't know why. It's such a cool, good-looking Pokemon. Like, look at it. It's freaking beautiful. There hasn't been a Pokemon that cool in a long time. All right, hopefully Surf does enough to kill it. I don't know why I said that's so weird, but yeah. No, don't heal. Surf didn't do enough to kill it. That's a little bit disappointing, but that's okay. Two Surfs should be able to take this guy out, and now since he healed... He won't be able to go for his next turn, so that's pretty much GG, I believe. Here we go. Hopefully we can get a crit, too. That would make it a lot faster and easier. No? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. One more surf, and that should be good game. Oh, crap. I thought we'd be able to go try twice. Why can't I speak? We lived with two HP. Holy crap. All right, and surf, and that is GG. We would have killed him anyway, but yeah, there we go. Drown under the water, my friend. Your fire's out. You're dead. You're dead, son. Speaking of, like, fire going out, Pokemon Origins amazing you guys should check that out the first episode's crazy but yeah there we go well aren't you good i like that in a trainer yeah of course you would i just i kicked your butt boy Whoa. strong pokemon weak pokemon that is only the selfish perception of people yeah that's true truly skilled trainers should try to win with their favorites i like your style you understand what's important go on the champion is waiting that's right the champion is waiting but before that we're gonna have to heal up all of our pokemon because they took a lot of a lot of DMG. All right, where are all my healer stuffs at? I think I need a full heal, actually, because I got paralyzed. So here we go. Let's give that to uh, my buddy Azar. He didn't even get touched, though. He just got paralyzed. That's normal. All right, well, uh, Hyper Potion, and we'll use that on Crocker, even though he barely has any damage. Doesn't matter. We have so much Hyper Potions. And I didn't use any uh, Max Revives, so that's good. We still have two Max Revives, and we have bunch of items left over so in the next episode i will be taking on the champion of the johto region thank you all for watching i will see you guys next time